Hey everybody, this is Ajax VM with a review of the M21E. Um, used it under a variety of situations. I really like it under rec rolls because the lower recoil makes it really, really beast. But I also have at the end here some regular gameplay. Uh, this is going to be my last review using fraps. Unless something changes, the in game recorder just seems a lot better. As I, and I can only take, you know, 30 seconds of film every time I try with wraps. So as you can see, I'm doing pretty well right here, spawn camping some noobs. It's a strong, it's a three shot kill, two shot in the back. Obviously, I mean, there's been a lot of other reviews about this gun, so I'm going to kind of stick to how it feels to me instead of more the stats. Um, the gun pretty much feels like a really heavy um, assault rifle to me. It's really heavy, but you have a lot of shots. It's really good for, like, uh, pre-firing. You can just hold down and just keep firing all day with this thing. And uh, when you hit someone, you're going to kill them. And if you fire around corners, um, usually you'll catch them before they come around. A lot of people call it chams, but uh, just be smart about it. Um, obviously, don't really cham, but... Um... Uh, this gun is pretty much best for spawn camping or suppressive positions. Uh, not extremely good at range, obviously. Uh, it's not very accurate. Uh, has a lot of recoil, but if you tap with it, it's pretty good. It has the um, burst mode, which is unique for a machine gun. And I like burst mode under fire team, which you'll see later on in this video. But I actually don't like burst mode uh, in a regular game, even though it's a one-shot, or one-click kill with it, uh, it just doesn't seem to work as well. Um, when you're firing, you just kill fast enough anyway. Um, but when you burst, it is very accurate, so if you like that kind of thing, you can control it. Uh, there's a nice long-range shot. Um, not a whole lot more I can say about the gun failed there, uh, used my own gun even. <laughs> but, um, so I would definitely recommend this gun. My opinion, it's about the best machine gun you can get for just an all-around machine gun. It doesn't have the absolute power of the MK48 or something like that, but especially with the burst mode, it's very deadly, very efficient on, co on uh, cabin fever. And you can actually use it in regular games as well, which for me, usually I don't like machine guns in regular games because they don't tend to kill real fa real well. But this one tends to um, do better. Here we go, now we're on to the regular rules. And it's not quite as beast on here because if you try and spray like I'm doing, you miss an awful lot of your shots. So it's really good if you get right in next to him because he's just going to own them. But if you're at any kind of range, you really got to tap. Um, not a lot more I can say. Um, it's really it, basically if you can control it and you like the gun, you can get a lot of kills fast. Oh, <laughs> saw that guy on the kill cam, by the way. But yeah, if you can control it, it's really good for killing people. You can just mow through a ton of enemies. If you can't control it, uh, don't. If you, it's not real good if you're not if you can't control it, obviously. But I would recommend if you like machine guns and you haven't tried it, definitely try it. It's very, very beast. Personally, I prefer it more than the MG36 or Ultimax or any of those. They're basically the same stats. This has, uh, I believe, slightly less recoil than the MG36 and a little m less accuracy. But uh, the scope and that you get on the MG36, I just I don't think is as good as the burst fire you can get with this. So, here in Cabin Fever, I think I was testing how many shots it takes to kill. I think it was something like uh, 11, 10 or 11 shots without hitting a head on extreme. But, um, I mean, that's not the best for Cabin Fever, but it tends to do alright, so... And it is a headshot beast. Its recoil just sends it straight up, usually, so... Yeah. Just aim right, and you'll get a lot of headshots of this. Uh, 
for the longest time, even pre-firing and spraying like I do, I had almost 20% accuracy uh, with this gun uh, for a long time, which is really kind of incredible. So it definitely, especially if you're playing on Wreck, uh, definitely if you shoot at something, you're going to hit it. Um, and that's about it for the gun. Obviously, I'm kind of glad they brought out the new recorder. I don't have to do all the little silly transitions between 30 second clips. You can actually get some gameplay in here. So if I uh, get the M21E again, maybe I'll get a better video for you guys. This actually shows a full game instead of just a bunch of clips. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I definitely recommend this gun. So see you around.